The data set we used in the previous clip is not really what you generally do when you work with data sets in R. Most of the time you will be working with data that you have cleaned, annotated and stored in spreadsheet formats and saved as a text file. Getting data into R is where R often seems to behave in mysterious ways, especially for beginners. R provides a number of functions that give you the flexibility to import virtually any type of text data format, so this step can be quite intimidating. Over the next two clips, we will look at two very basic strategies that should get you a reasonably long way and show you the principle, which you can then use to extend to other formats, possibly with the help of Google. Both options shown here work in R and R Studio. One thing to remember is that what's actually much more important than the import step in R is that you know the type and format of your data and how the information in columns is separated when you export your data from the spreadsheet document. Suppose you have collected data on 18 students and put the information in a spreadsheet document called mystudents.ods, like here, where I've also added half a point to some exam scores to illustrate a common property of data that contains decimal places. To illustrate the two simple strategies and the difference, we will first save the set in two different formats, one of which will separate the columns by commas, and in the other option we'll separate it by tabs. Which of the settings you choose may actually be much less important than remembering what you choose later on. In LibreCalc, we go save as and call the first file my students comma, so we can remember that this format file contains comma separated values. Then select CSV as a file type. Acknowledge the warning, which only means that you cannot save formatting such as coloring or bold fonts and the likes. The following dialog is much more important. We need to select the field and text delimiters. The field delimiter specifies how the columns in your dataset are separated, so R later knows what the column boundaries are. The text delimiter specifies how actual text should be protected, because imagine you choose comma as the field delimiter, but you have text in one column which also contains a text comma within the column. Then R would split information into separate columns where there actually isn't a column boundary. That's what we set the text delimiter for. So here we set the field delimiter to comma and double quotes as the text delimiter and save the file. To prepare the data set for the second example, we reopen the original data file, go save as, call our file my students tab to indicate a tab separated format. Again, select CSV as a file type and ignore the warning, but then select the tab as a field delimiter and save. To see what the difference is between the files, open them in a text editor such as Text Wrangler on Mac or Notepad++ on Windows. In the tab separated file, the columns are separated by a tab and in the comma separated file, it's the comma. 